Have you ever seen Big Brother? Have you ever played Danganronpa? If you answered no to either question, then what are you doing here? Actually, today's your lucky day, because today I'm going to explain why Big Brother and Danganronpa are fantastic, but I'm also going to explain why, if you like one, you should like the other. Big Brother is a CBS reality TV show that began airing in 2000, and is now currently airing its 22nd season. The premise of the show is that, typically, 16 people enter a house together where they're sequestered, and week by week they battle to become the leader of the house, the head of household as it's called, and nominate two people. Those two people can then be voted out of the house, and the game continues like this until there are only two people left. At that time, a jury of previously voted out contestants vote for who they think should win, the $500,000 prize. Often, people look at the, well, corny aspects of the show to try and define it. I got this carrot costume on, I'm sitting here having a freaking toe to toe. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's it's corny. However, the game is a social and strategy-based endeavor. I mean, the proof is in the pudding, and the pudding isn't some grody-ass SLUG! The nature of being locked into a house 24-7 allows for people to go stir-crazy and create some drama-filled scenarios, which is fun to watch. I mean, we're all able to go outside, and some of you have no chill. You cannot mandate you literally cannot mandate somebody to wear a mask knowing that that mask is killing people. It literally is SLUG! But while the drama in Big Brother can definitely be juicy... To me, the appeal of the show is in the social strategy. In order to not get nominated, players will often devise fantastic strategies to lower their threat levels or ingratiate themselves with others and create alliances or any other social strategy that you can imagine. The game is a dense web of interlocking relationships that unfolds every week and that's what I love about it. Speaking of dense, let's talk about you. I mean Danganronpa. Danganronpa is a series that started in 2010 with the visual novel entitled Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Danganronpa is about a group of typically 16 students who are trapped in a location and are thrust into a death game. Slowly but surely people start to show up dead. The death game dictates that there must be a trial over every death. And if the murderer isn't discovered at this trial, then the murderer is set free while everyone else dies. And if the murderer is discovered, the other students are allowed to continue living while still trapped within the game. Besides the fact that one property is drilled to life and one is Big Brother, <coughs> there are some obvious first glance similarities between Big Brother and Danganronpa. We have a cast that is encompassed by typically 16 people, and the constant loss of people from the game, ridiculous costumes, and a jury that must be convinced in order to win. But the main similarity that I think is central to both titles is the focus on individual relationships. Survival is key in both titles, I mean, to a bit of a greater degree in Danganronpa. But the one thing that can ensure safety in both is the connections that are made. In Danganronpa, trust is limited. Kids are dropping like flies and nobody is trustworthy, but the ability to spot lies is key, and the connections that you make with the others allows you to better spot those lies. In Big Brother, this tactic of gaining trust to snuff out deception is a central strategy and allows players to push forward in the game. Some of the best players in the game will use their connection to discern who is lying to them, thus who is their enemy in the game. Then they use that information to snuff them out. So, mission accomplished. Right now, everyone in the house knows Zach's a liar, and Nicole loves me right now because I just made her look good to the house, Victoria thinks everything's her fault, and she betrayed my trust. It's a win, win, win. Those who form weaker connections won't get much information, such as who's targeting them or who's being fake with them. This lack of information means that it's a lot easier to be out of the loop in the house and end up being a victim to someone who has more social currency. Danganronpa is similar in that the cast doesn't know who each other are, meaning that they must get to know each other under a high-stress scenario. In order to perform well at the jury trials over the murder, the protagonist of each title will often use their relationships with others to help them solve the investigation. This this includes things such as using others to gather clues or using their unique skill sets to snuff out evidence that normal people wouldn't be able to. Their helpfulness in the investigation isn't the only reason to spend your time with them, but it does help with the investigations. Danganronpa is primarily popular for gamifying this concept, gamifying investigation and perception. Every jury trial to discern the killer is a hyperactive, balls-to-the-wall, explosive experience, but the primary aspect that the game is testing is your perception and investigative ability. This type of gameplay makes you focus on every aspect to a character interaction. In the daytime, you can decide to spend your time with whichever student that you wish, but during these sessions, you learn about the lives of each of the cast, 
While you're doing this, you're also incentivized to pay close attention to what the characters care about the most. This aspect of their character will often appear in the jury trial when they are the murderer, so for the very perceptive, this time that was spent with the character can become another piece of the puzzle in solving the particular murder. That primary aspect of Danganronpa, where perception and investigative ability are tested, is also one of the primary aspects of Big Brother. With Big Brother though, you're no longer the player who's testing their abilities, but instead you're a third party who is actively able to spot the lies without the individual perceptive tests. This is why I think Danganronpa and Big Brother while an odd pairing, to say the least, make good bedfellows, because one tests your perception while the other allows you to analyze and predict what will happen based on those abilities. Both are quirky and full of personality, but more importantly, they have a cast of vibrant and interesting characters, and there's always someone to root for. So, whether you're playing Danganronpa or you're watching Big Brother, there's always a sense of excitement about what comes next. The perception being tested, the wackiness and surrealness of the premise, and the relationships of the interesting cast at its core prove that Big Brother and Danganronpa aren't actually that different from one another. So, for those of you who are afraid of being labeled a weeb or a fan of an outdated corny TV show, you can now realize that you should really just be... Slug!